Hello guys, and welcome back to Let's Play Super Mario Omega Part 2. I remember, the first time I played this game, I thought, I did, I thought this level was broken, because it takes like, like, like 10 seconds in order to load. But, it's just kind of thing with this exact level, that's about it. Once you give it the time, it actually does load in. And I remember watching someone else let's play this. And I was like, man, I just want to see the rest of the game. And then I saw that you just got to wait for it to load. And I was like, what? So, I was kind of mad. So, if you ever play this game, do realize that it does take forever for it to, like, actually load in. I wonder if I can go up. Let's see. Let's see. No! Let's do that. Ah, oh, I did get up here. Okay. Let's go through this pipe. Looks promising. What? P switch. Now, is this even. Necessary? I don't know if this P switch is meant for actually you know what? I don't know, is that even I don't know. That just looks like a stupid puzzle to me. It is not necessary. Okay. Oh crap, this is disappearing, you can't even see it. this. Well, I guess we can just kind of keep it here. I feel like, I'm sorry I'm kind of like not really even like talking. I'm like half talking because I'm really distracted. I'm just trying to keep stuff in order. And this level is just super freaking glitchy. Seriously. Like, I don't even know what else to say. This level's just outrageous. But we can't take the switch through anyways. So, uh, this is taking quite a while to load. Holy crap. Hooray crap. I really hope this is not a secret exit level, because it's gonna take quite a while. Eh. Oh, uh, no, wait. Oh! Look at that. That's outrageous. The fact that I was able to get that to happen. Can't believe it. I'm gonna use fast forwards a little bit. I don't feel like waiting. Oh my god. I'm afraid to fast forward during these parts because it's like loading. I'm afraid it's gonna like. You know what I mean? It's gonna like break if I try to fast forward through a loading sequence. I've actually fast forwarded on other game on em other emulators when I try to save and it just kinda corrupts the save when you do it, so. I don't know what it would do to loading. Probably nothing good. Jeez. Oh wow, I never noticed that. If you just spin in place has a chance of changing your direction. Hmm. You know, guys, I'm gonna pause real quick. I'm gonna find out if is if there is a secret exit there. So I'll be right. Okay. And after searching for a bit, I found out there's no secret. And as for the green switch, um, I kind of saw what world you have to go into before you get it. So, um. It's gonna take a little... I don't know why I did that. It's gonna be a little bit of a while before we actually see the green switch. So, that part in the beginning is actually gonna stay pretty hidden. So, just to let you know. Um, oh god, and I think this might be a pipe maze. So that's not a good thing. 
god. I'm not looking forward to that. Well, we came out of that pipe, so... We know that's not it. I'm just... Never a fan of pipe mazes. But we gotta look alive, because... This level is... Gonna be by Full of this crap. Hmm. Now... We can go down here... I don't know, is that the wrong choice? I don't know, I can't really... I can't really see anything special up there, other than that block, but we'll find out. Nope, you can't even get up that way. That's useless. There's no way of trying to do that. A midway point. You get the feeling going that way was kind of important, but I guess we'll find out later on. Let's just continue to keep our eyes peeled as we venture through this cavern further. Hmm. I was also thinking about doing, um, and I might start it up soon, it would be videos dealing with, um, Portal 2 custom test chambers, because there is the custom area. Can you go down there? Oh, you can't, it's for a coin. I figured since there's a since there's a coin there. Oh! We found this. This looks kind of secretive. Are you a item? I figured you were an item. <laughs> No! Oh, it bounces. So we're good. Hmm. I like the I like the music they chose as the bonus music in this game. I can't remember what I think I've heard what game it's from. But I'm just not sure. Hmm. I don't know if you collect all these. Yep, you gotta one up. Ah, uh, it was just for a uh, ace coin. I thought maybe it would take me to the secret. I'm always mad when the secrets end up, like, not actually being where you want them to be. You're like, oh man, that was a secret, and then you're like, oh, just kidding. It's not the secret I was looking for. Hmm. So look back at the beginning again, but I'm pretty sure it wasn't a P-Switch thing that kind of, like, blocks me from it. Guess we'll see. Let's just go through. That takes me there. Let's look back through the hillside passage. I don't think there was anything. We can see into these little different areas, but... <clears throat> As I said, there's really nothing in this one except for, like, a power-up. So... I don't really know what... I don't know what it's really looking for. But, might as well get the fire flower. This time, I guess we can go in that top path and see if that block had anything special in it. Maybe it was a P-switch of some kind. In that case, there's actually still an idea as to where it could be. But... Let's do this first. Hmm... Am I right? Oh, I am! that, but there could possibly be... Oh, there's something up there! Oh boy, that's pretty secretive. At least I think so. wonder if I need... I wonder if I need, like, a cape of some kind in order to get up there. I don't know. I was expecting maybe, like... Hmm, let me go get a feather, and then I'll come back, so I'll see you guys briefly. Okay, guys, I got it. So we gotta be super careful, because I don't want to lose this cape. 
We're gonna find out if that's actually the secret exit. If so, honestly, I'd have to kind of ding this hack a bit if that was. Like, I know the original game did it. The thing is, I wasn't even glad. The thing is, I kind of want to ding the original Super Mario World for making you have to do shit like that, because I think it's annoying. You know, making someone have to... I gotta rewind. Um, making someone have to go to a different level just to get a power-up. It feels really annoying and really unnecessary, because in the end, like, if the power-up is in the level, it's completely understandable. But the power-up isn't in the level in this case. Oh god. So, you know, I gotta, like, kill everything here, because... Wow, I can't believe I just did that. Okay, let's... Let's kill you. Let's kill you. Okay, I totally believe in my abilities to get a... No! Okay. I could get a running start. I could tell I could. What? Aha! See? Is that it? Oh my god. Why is that so hard to get to? I can't believe it. That is the secret exit. That is outrageous. This better lead to some amazing ass place. Island of Power. Oh, what does it say? In 7 of 20, one level in each territory has a hidden path that will take you directly to the end of the level. Oh man. Oh god, I kinda wanna. No, I'm really trying to. gonna read that other one. Ah! No! It's not okay! God, this is like the definition of the struggle. God, why can I not get up to it? Like, this is seriously way too hard of a message box to read. I should be able to, like, if I... Um, like, if I... Maybe I really am just not supposed to read that one. I don't even care. You know what? We'll come back and read it later. But I got to it. I guess it's just supposed to be an item. A little thing that's special. It's it's still a pain in the ass. Like, I guess that's more acceptable. But the thing is, I don't know if it's just gonna be a little like item house, so I gotta get it anyways. Besides, I gotta show all the secrets. I think it was I still didn't like the fact that it made me use a feather though, because that's just annoying. But now I have an entire power-up zone. Which is really nice actually. If you think about it. The level for the power-up zone in the original game was kind of shitty in the way they made you do it as well. Like, if you think about it, oh God, it was pretty much like, "Hey, you're on your own, bitch. You better bring a cape, because we're not giving you shit in order to do this." And it's like, "Oh, thanks." That's pretty much how I felt when I went through it to get to the top secret area. Oh, not this shit again. I guess it's a castle, so it's not like there's a secret exit. But, I don't really know what that place leads to. Fast forward! Destroy it. Even though the sea and haunted ruins stood in Mario's path, he has successfully recovered the second Gemtoa territory. The next territory is just ahead. Yay, Mario destroyed the castle. Yo, Mario really knows how to destroy shit. He just, like, jumps on him and shit. 
Icicle Caverns one. I have no idea what this music is. In 11. Be careful, Mario. We'll s I know. Oh, these are snow. These hurt you. No, I don't think they- Ah, uh, yes, they do. I just had to be careful. I was curious. Oh, God. Let's get that. Oh, that just leads to an ace coin. That's not necessary. I don't know how in the world a fish is living in that kind of arctic condition. I would not be... I would not be happy if I was that fish. Wait, can I get up there? Can I destroy it? Yes! Is this the pipe that takes me directly to the end? Wait, I gotta destroy it, I can't get in the... There we go, got it. Jeez. It's about to keep me from... everything. Oh boy. No! I want the red coins! Don't keep me from them. Damn it. Wait. Yeah! Oh, I missed him. I don't even care. Is this the pipe that takes me to the end? Nope. Damn. Oh boy, look at those skills. Damn it. Look at those skills. Again. See, saying the, the same phrase with different tones of voice means different things. Oh yeah, look at those skills. Look at those skills. Oh no, I'm gonna die! I forgot about that glitch. Can't let that happen. It's not a good glitch. Just fucking kills you for no reason. Oh no. Icicle Cavern. Oh, Mario. Oh, shit. I thought, like, the overworld music was about to be the music for this level. I was gonna be like, what the hell? That's stupid. God. This has, like, a back bass to it now. Sounds... Sounds kind of weird. I don't know if I really like it. Oh shit. I don't know how I did not take a hit there. Am I gonna get shot out of a pipe? No. Oh, weird. Wait, maybe I will here. Totally felt like I was going to get shot out of a pipe. What does this say? Ice blocks can be melt- I knew that. Oh god. Let's go down here. Where does this take me? Oh boy, it's a bonus room! With... Blue Powerade that kills you. Gotta watch out for that blue Powerade. What was this? That's bullshit. How was I supposed to know to take the high road? It's not my fault that I don't do that kind of shit. I'm supposed to go up. Man. You know, though, what I really don't like is how it's like ice levels either have to be like a cavern, or I don't know what. Like, sometimes they're like. Usually, but the thing is, they're always ice. They're rarely ever snow. And I actually prefer like a snow level. I want to I wanna get that next power up. A feather! Yes! Die! I can kill them all. I feel like there's probably supposed to be, uh. There's probably supposed to be some kind of turtle there in order to kill me. 
I take it there's probably something up there you could get to that's a secret. But I'm not feeling that adventurous. Okay, let's try this. There we go. Oh boy, and I died. Should have seen that coming. Okay, let's do that. And run off into here. Eh. And go down the pipe, and we should be good. I think this will probably be it soon enough. We're probably reaching the end. Yep. I figured. This takes us to... Icicle Cavern 3. Yep. So next time, guys, we'll do Icicle Cavern 3 here on Super Mario Omega. Until then, take care.